Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are to celebrate their first Valentine's Day as a married couple, but they face a different kind of pressure now that they are under more scrutiny than ever before, a relationship expert said. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are believed to have started dating during the summer of 2016. While it is likely they have already celebrated two Valentine's Days together during their dating and engagement months, the royal couple is to mark their first Valentine's Day as husband and wife next week. But the day could come with some pressure for the couple as they are now under more scrutiny than ever since Meghan became a working royal and a mother-to-be, as a relationship and love coach Kate Mansfield explained. She told Express.co.uk. As a royal couple part of the pressure to appear like a perfect couple is always there. However, the relationship expert sees Meghan and Prince Harry's relationship very strong, which easily allows them to live through similar stressful situations. Ms. Manfield said, clearly their relationship is very strong and supersedes the press and public opinion. I very much doubt that expectations around Valentine's Day would affect Meghan and Harry. The pregnant Duchess of Sussex is due to give birth to her firstborn in the spring. Rather than being an obstacle to celebrations of Valentine's Day, Ms. Mansfield said it will help boost Meghan and Harry's bond. The expert said, pregnancy, when a couple is as in love as Meghan and Harry, can be a very romantic time. There is nothing as deeply bonding as the feeling of creating another human being with someone that you love and this far outweighs the more superficial aspects of romance such as a posh meal out. Meghan isn't signaling any desire to slow down working despite getting nearer and nearer to the end of her pregnancy. In January, the Duchess of Sussex carried out 11 engagements, almost three times more than her sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. While her pregnancy seems to have been relatively free of problems, some of her friends are worried about the global bullying Meghan has become the subject of in the past months. Five friends, who asked to remain anonymous to protect the private friendship they hold dear, told People magazine, Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant. The friend's appeal was not welcomed by Samantha Markle, Meghan's half-sister, who on Wednesday launched a scathing attack against the People's article, claiming the five anonymous friends were made up. She wrote on Twitter, hashtag People magazine this article is total bullshit. there are plenty of text messages and receipts to prove otherwise. Stop the PRCP hashtag fake news.